Bolt here. We are back today doing something quite a bit different. Sorry for my voice. Before we get to start, if you were for my voice blah, 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 and my horrible grammar, I just recorded all my episodes and now I got extra time, so I'm doing this. But I'm here today doing exactly what the title says How to Fix Item ID Conflicts. So this is for like mods or something. If you're going to run a mod, maybe, and you have. If you just have one mod, you don't have a problem. But if you have multiple mods, sometimes the ID can conflict, and you got a message like this. Pretend you just go into Minecraft and you're like, I just want to play some Minecraft. With my mod, and my awesome Creeper Huggy Pie mod, and Skeleton Kissy Wissy mod, or something, whatever. You got two different mods put together. Two separate different mods, totally different mods. Well, just two different mods, really. Not counting Forge. And you get this, you're like, Whoa! Minecraft crashed! Yeah, you did that. Anyway. <laughs> it's right there. Anyway. So you get your crash report, and you're like, what happened? And most people, they're just like, I know how to read, I, I don't know how to read code. So, I didn't know how to read code either. But this is pretty easy to say, Right here, you got Java legal argument slot 16,002. It's already occupied by IC2 block, block, blah, blah, when IC train. Two different things. So this slot's already taken. You gotta change that. You're like, oh no! I want these two mods. I don't wanna have not one. Or something. Pretend that. And they're like, well, what am I gonna do? Well, a really easy way to get your Minecraft folder. You got to put an app data away. But you just go, you just go edit profile. I'll show you both ways. And then open game directory. And that'll take you to your Minecraft folder. Then, then, then after that, you want to go back to your Minecraft launcher. Close that and close that. And then you're here. What you can also do, except for doing that, is type in percent app data. Oh, percent, percent a p p d a t a percent. Hit enter. It'll take you to your roaming. Go to dot Minecraft and you're there. After that, go to config. Once you go to config, what you want to do, you want to find the one that, so it doesn't really matter. You just got to go to one of the ones that are conflicting. So it was either, it was from, the mods that were conflicting was Traincraft and IC2. So let's just tra change Traincraft. Traincraft, for example. Let's just do that one instead of IC2. We could do either. It's just depending on what you want to do. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do Traincraft. So you double click on that. It won't be set as a notepad when you start off like this. But what you want to do, you open it. It says what you want to open with. Open with notepad. Always open with notepad. Op notepad is the best for opening these files with. Just go with notepad. Trust me. But you'll get open this. And then you want to go, you want to find the ID that conflicts. You want to find, here we go, 16,002. That was the exact same number in the Minecraft launcher. You want to go here and you just want to change it. It's hard to figure out what really works. It's, it's, it's difficult. But I'm going to change it to 492. There we go, just like that. Change it right to that, just right there. And now it should be pretty good. Because I changed it, you want to go up to the file up here, file, and then hit save. After that, you can close your notepad, and then keep your folder open, because it might not be the right one. It, it might still conflict. If not, then you're all good, and you can close that after. But if you hit play, your Minecraft will either run, or it will crash again. And let us just see. I don't know if that's the right one. I think it's going to run. Because I actually had them working before, and I just actually unset them because I wanted to show you guys. But, oh, it even crashed. Well, R2 is, so you might get another crash report. So, 4, 492 is already taken. So, we can't use that. Alright. So, we gotta close our Minecraft launcher. Go back to our folder. Good thing we kept it open, guys. Double click on Traincraft again. It might ask you to open it with notepad or something. 
I'm gonna change it to three. Just go a number up. What I usually do for mine though is actually set it to I go I go sixteen thousand zero two and then three and then four and then five. If none of those work, sixteen thousand is always clear in from what I find, but I'm just gonna change it to four thousand nine hundred no 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 bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go, up here. Forty thousand nine hundred and three. Do that, do a save job. Close this. Go back here. Open dot Minecraft. Sorry if it's a bit noisy. Uh but and then you hit play and it should run this time. If it doesn't, do the exact same thing again. Keep on changing it until you find the right one. As I said before, 16,000 is a pain in the butt if you have a lot of mods and you just keep on going try to get the right conflict that they don't conflict sort of thing. If you just do like 14,003, 14,005, you get the idea. So I just recommend you put that thing that gets conflicted down to 16,001 and then if you Sorry for the cutout, guys. It got cut out because my Minecraft opened and my recorder doesn't like it when I switch apps and I record. So it's just cut out, but uh, what I was going to say is the 16,000 range is pretty clear. So you use the 16,000 range when clear and configs. It just, it, just it, it works great for me. You use the 16,000 range, 16,001, 16,000, so you get the idea. Anything from there, it, it works. You use the 16,000 range, it's going to work great. You won't have any problems, really. But, yeah, if you ever get any con conflicts, just use that and you'll be set. But, if you, if the video has helped, if, uh, I'm going to be making a, uh, how to install mods video pretty soon. And maybe even a how to install a server. Like, how to make a server with Evolve, like, simple way. And, that's, that'll be helpful, so, check those out. Then, I'll, then we'll be up for a little bit. I may or may not have a link in the description, depending if I actually feel like putting it in there. Or remember. Keyword is remember. But if you guys found this video helpful, please leave me a like. It helps me out so, so very much. And it just helps my video get known and helps other people get helped when trying to find and get their problems fixed. So leave me a like if this video was helpful or you enjoyed it. And that's about it. <laughs> I'm, that was a bad outro, because I, I messed up, I messed up at the end of the day, but, um, that's gonna do it for today, guys, you, uh, and I will see you in the next one, Bye bye